the one thing, right? Yeah. You know, you can press down, press up. It's every practitioner does a little bit differently. Some are gonna be like, like oh, real gentle, and others okay. are gonna be like. Okay. You know? Even take up that distraction. Okay. 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 Sub Taylor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's efficient. Now, when you're gonna do a thrust to the Sub Taylor, bringing that foot up into dorsiflexion until I can tell that I'm loading that, that tail tibial joint. I'm going to provide a little bit of body distraction initially. I'm just genuinely rocking my body back a little bit. And then I'm going to go. One eighth inch thrust. Thrust if you want to. But if you're feeling that freed up motion just by moving anterior posterior glide, good enough. Okay, move on down. Distal stabilizing hand over the navicular and the cuboid. Moving hand's going to be over the cuneiforms, make the diamond, close the diamond, anterior posterior glides. A little bit inferior. I'm lining up thumb over thumb over fingers around the top of the foot, so I've got full control here. Dorsiflex, plantar flex, till I feel like I've engaged that, that cuboid, and then my thrust is going to be down and out. Down and out. Okay, just a small, precise, one-eighth inch thrust. I'm not throwing her leg across the room. Okay, localized to the cuboid, down and out. Okay, not